Hello, I'm Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner. Let's dive into some of the top six causes I've seen clinically of sleep issues. Starting out, number one, emotional stress. Well, duh, uh, you've got all kind of crazy COVID lockdowns that people have been going through, financial ruin, business is closing. Emotional stress is gonna weigh on you. For some reason, those things come out at night. You're distracted during the day, you're not really focused on those issues, but at night you're laying in bed looking up at the ceiling or maybe the stars and you're going, oh my God, what's gonna happen? So you've gotta deal with that. I would really suggest EFT, emotional freedom technique. That's something that's been a game changer for me. Emotional freedom technique is where you're tapping various acupressure meridians and then you're saying affirmations like, even though I feel stressed about this issue, I love and accept myself. And you may feel corny doing that at first and that's fine, but just push through, make it a habit, become an expert at emotional freedom technique and it'll definitely help. I can't make all your problems go away, but I could at least help you cope better with the emotional stress. Also, some adaptogenic herbs would be smart, like ashwagandha. Uh, also, holy basil can be really good. So those are two other strategies I would use to implement on the emotional stress piece. Now the chemical stress, I mean, this could be anything and everything from heavy metals, I threw mycotoxins, which are created by mold, and those are breathed in. Those could also be a major, major issue because they disrupt your melatonin levels. And as you know, melatonin is your master sleep hormone, but of course it's a powerful antioxidant as well. So supplementing melatonin in certain cases I'm okay with. Maybe a couple milligrams, two to three milligrams would be just fine. Gut infections, this was a big one for me. I had insomnia for years. It was definitely tied into SIBO and parasites. I also had candida overgrowth. Any type of gut infection is gonna create a stress. That stress can then affect blood sugar, for one, so you can have sort of a hypoglycemic blood sugar crash. That's gonna create sort of an emotional and chemical stress because you're gonna be releasing cortisol and your liver may have to help pinch hit to get the blood sugar back up. And that's a stress which can wake you up. So you have to address these infections. And this is just gonna be some type of antimicrobials, right? So antimicrobials, maybe some antifungals, maybe some antiparasitic formulas, you know, but something. You gotta do something. First, you gotta test though. I've done videos on stool testing and I'll link one of those here so you can check it out. Next, hormonal issues. Well, this is all kind of tied in, right? But, you know, cortisol is mainly what we're talking about. It is true with women, especially once they go through perimenopause and into menopause, low hormone levels can affect sleep. So something like a little bit of progesterone may be used topically, and that can be a game changer because that does affect and work on the GABA chloride channels. GABA is your calming neurotransmitter. It's the brakes of the brain. I experimented with a little bit of progesterone here and there, and I sleep like a baby. So it's not something I do long-term, but it is something that you'd wanna talk with your practitioner about and potentially do if you're finding that you have an issue, especially if you're perimenopausal, menopausal. Okay, next, blue light circadian issues. Everyone's beat the drum on that over the last few years, which is good. I was talking about this 10 years ago when very few were, except for Dr. Richard Hansler. I did a podcast with him all about blue light. This guy's in his 90s now, he's amazing. He worked at GE developing brighter and more blue light bulbs and now he has a ton of guilt because he's understood that there's a massive connection between blue light and all sorts of mental health issues, even a possible link to behavioral issues in children. So candling down at night, using something like salt lamps, using blue light blockers, putting blue light blocking apps or filters on your phones, and simply just going to freaking bed when the sun goes down. It's pretty simple, but most people stay up too late, and that really affects the circadian rhythm. We've seen, based on looking at thousands of cortisol results, that people will start to have what's called an inverse pattern. So this on this axis here, this is your time of day, and this is your cortisol. So cortisol is supposed to spike up in the morning and then gradually drop down. But the problem that we've seen, can you even see that? Okay. Now the problem is we've seen a lot of people where they wake up kind of low and then they get stressed in the afternoon and then they're on the phone at night or whatever and their cortisol is way up here in the evening. That's just no good. So you have to address that using specific adaptogenic herbs and then some of the lifestyle strategies we talked about up here. So ashwagandha, holy basil could be used, going to bed. Uh, Lyme and co-infections, this is a big one. So Babesia, Bartonella, Borrelia, which is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, it can really affect the brain. The mechanisms aren't well known. It could be some sort of a brain inflammation component. So Japanese knotweed is something we often use in clinic that's very helpful. 
Uh, we'll just call it JK, Japanese knotweed. That's something we use quite a lot that can be helpful. However, you want to work with your practitioner on this because it can get a little complicated. And if you have mold issues, for example, we're probably going to go after that first before we go after Lyme. If you can just get the immune system stronger, we found that a lot of people can actually gain the upper hand on Lyme and co-infections on their own without having to come in and specifically address those. So this is Evan Brand signing out. If you need help clinically, click on screen. We'll love to chat with you, see what's going on. Take care. Bye-bye.